What was really quite impressive today is the way that the Seminoles controlled this game. They possessed the ball the majority of the match and they also limited the chances for UCF in the entire game as they win another top 25 win tonight, 4-0. A good solid performance for 90 minutes. Um, I thought in the first half we came out fairly strong and uh, created some pretty good chances. The keeper made a couple of good saves. I thought that we weren't quite uh, clinical enough in the penalty box uh, when we had a couple of other chances, but uh, our, our persistence were pretty good. And um, um, I thought that at halftime we came out and um, the kids followed the script and uh, went pretty well for us. Getting the first goal, it kind of gave me more confidence and kind of showed that like I'm, a, I'm well able to score here. So just getting the right positions and I finish them. It was another very good performance by Megan and uh, you know she's playing at a good level right now and uh, it's great to have those goals coming from that position and um, you know she's quite confident in and around the goal and I thought she showed, uh, showed great class around the goal. We know it's going to be a physical game so we came into this game knowing that we had to battle as well because if we just let them push us off the ball then like it would have been an easy game for them but we knew that we had to come in here and give as much as we got so I think it paid off and as you see 4-0 so all went well. We're certainly starting, some of the players are starting to grow into their roles and understand better what we expect from them and what we want from them. So, you know, the, the name of the game is continued learning. And I have to tell you, Jonathan, a lot of the learning is for us coaches. We need to watch these players and see how they're doing in different situations and then uh, hopefully uh, help them get a little bit better. Florida State is back home on Sunday. They'll take on Grand Canyon at 1 p.m. Stay right here at Seminoles.com. We'll have your complete Seminole coverage at the soccer complex. Jonathan Shalasi, Seminoles.com.